network and also the project so that we have some context. Um, the, the network of DIH Hero that invited you today and then that also funds this session is a pan European network in the field of healthcare robotics. So we cover European EU 28, all these European countries, including UK. And the, the aim is to improve the quality of care for European citizens while rebuilding a global market potential and also to connect all the stakeholders and to enable them to develop innovative products. Um, the DIH Hero project, um, if I talk about DIHs, uh, I'd like to, to introduce you to the concept of DIHs. These are often regional, not-for-profit, mm -hmm. one-stop shops that support companies and also the public sector in their digital transformation. Um, digital innovation hubs in health robotics, that's the initialism, uh, uh, is the, I want to say DIH Hero is the initialism for digital innovation hubs in healthcare robotics. Uh, this is an independent platform for all those who are active in the healthcare ecosystem. Our mission is to also survive and that connects players in the healthcare sector and also supports small and medium sized enterprises. Uh, short name SMEs. I use that often today. Our aim is to speed up innovation and to reduce time to market through a pan European network. Um, our online portal for network members offers services and, and facilitates collaboration on various innovations and also to help helps sharing good practices and best practices throughout the industry and efficient product and service development. Uh, there are more statistics about the, the um, DIT Hero project itself. So there's a consortium of core members. We are 17 of them from 11 European countries. Uh, the duration is four and a half years from January 2019 till mid 2023. We received a considerable amount of funding from the European Commission, about 19.5 million euros, but over nine uh, million euros, that is more than 50% of the of the, the funding, it goes to, uh, to the financial support of SMEs and also slightly large, larger enterprises. Uh, we, we organize in this project many cascade funding uh, projects and we have um, many, many projects running right now and also um, forthcoming. Um, if, if we have, have this graphic about what the objectives are, in the center of gravity definitely is first the online portal that is built right now and that will be published very soon and also the financial support to innovating SMEs and slightly larger companies. Then we, we as, as of today, we organize a series of, of events so such as networking events, brokerage events to find, uh, to find partners for projects in this sense and financial support, um, regional info days and also knowledge conferences. I just want to name a very few of these objectives most relevant for us today is share best practice and collect and harmonize industry-led standards. But also we, we address cross-border certification of products and services. We, we foster also with uh, Eurobench project uh, in, in collaboration with Eurobench project and others of testing facilities and living labs. We create supply chains, chains and, and also transfer technology, help in the technology transfer. We create collaboration opportunities, collect innovators, and let people access to knowledge and services. Um, services, that's the important keyword for this slide. We offer a range, broad range of services for especially smaller companies that are in the healthcare robotics industry. So the first service is around technological services. So 
we provide access to prototyping research manufacturing know-how. We have business capital and incubators and linked with that to public and private funding services. We have services to help in the certification and go to market. So we help understand customer segments, uh, regulations, um, think of the MDR and, and these things, and also the value chain to create market entry. We uh, have also access to test infrastructure, I briefly mentioned that before, to access, to provide access to specialized labs and realistic test environment, and also we provide some training and education for and from healthcare professionals and robotic developers. Um, we, we, we address in, in the project DHEO five main application areas, which um, are covered today in this workshop quite a lot. So we, we talk about diagnostic robots. For instance, if we talk about laboratory automation, these would fall into that category. There are more than there are robots for human function analysis, automatic imaging robots. For the interventional robot, the, the classical examples, surgical robots, also image guiding robots and training robots. We, in this short series of, of um, workshops on Friday this week, we will have a dedicated session that addresses the questions and, and challenges of rehabilitation robotics, even though we address it today too. Um, for instance, that sort of comprises wearable robots, stationary devices, and also some rehabilitation at home. Then we have two categories which are rather similar, robots supporting patients and those supporting healthcare professionals. Um, and also from another point of view, uh, we also have in, in our, our um, work package inside that project that addresses um, um, standards, standardization and best practices, we have three fields that, that are namely interoperability, human-machine interaction and software development. And we involve academic experts and the industry. We identify and analyze needs and barriers in these three fields. We collect standards and best practices, analyze them and compile them, and then uh, publish that in a knowledge base, publish this knowledge that we gained in this part in, in, in the knowledge base. Uh, regarding today's